All right, Anheuser-Busch still reeling from its woke stunt promoting Bud Light with transgender uh, activist Dylan Mulvaney. On Friday, the Anheuser-Busch hair, Billy Bush, not to be, well, confused with the journalist, had some harsh words for the company amid the seemingly endless fallout. Take a look. I think my family, my ancestors would have rolled over in their grave. They were very patriotic. They loved this country and what it stood for. Um, they believed that transgender, um, gays, the, that sort of thing was all a very personal issue. Um, they loved this country because it is a free country and people are allowed to do what they want. But it was never meant to be on a beer can and never meant to be pushed in people's faces. Joining us now is the author of Family Reigns. Billy Bush is with us. Uh, well, by the way, what a great legacy for you and, and you know, your... You know, your family's background is pretty incredible. The story of success, the American dream personified. Um, why would they be rolling over in their grave? You know, delve a little deeper into that. I think that, um, you know, they, first of all, wouldn't have ever gotten as political as this. And let's face it, the transgender uh, topic today has become very, very political. And it's not wise for a beer company to get into that um, into that game. I think that it's difficult um, enough to 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 be um, advertising beer and to try to do it um, when and be political about it. I think it's uh, it's just not the way to go. My, you know, my fear from the very beginning, and at one point I, I got some people mad at me because I said I don't want this to go on very long. I'm hoping the company will straighten it out. I, I thought the the best thing they could do is apologize for getting into the political arena. We made a mistake. We're sorry. Um, I think that might have gone a long way at that time to help them. I don't know if it would work now. It, it would seem like an act of desperation. But my fear was that, you know, the guys that work in the brewery and the, and the factories and that drive the trucks, they're the, one paying, they're the ones paying the price. They're now losing career jobs over this. They are paying the price, and I think the the company greatly miscalculated uh, what what they thought um, was being inclusive, but it really was divisive. I think my family was they they lived by the motto "making friends is our business," and they believe that uh, bringing people together, making it a, f a sociable, fun uh, beer drinking experience, was the way to go. Um, but you know, people that drink Bud Light, that drink beer, um, really don't relate to that kind of advertising. And um, so it was, it was a huge mistake. So let me ask you, do, do you have any influence, any connection to the management, the current management? Um, and if you don't, and you had an opportunity to talk to them, what would you tell them? If I had an opportunity to talk to them, first of all, no, I don't have any relationship or any um, any management uh, ed, uh, uh, connection, the, any any kind of management decision making that I, there. But if I had a chance to talk to them, I'd say really understand who your beer drinker is and who um, your audience is with uh, with your brands, because um, you know trying to push a, a uh, political agenda um, in such a way. Um, obviously is not the way to go because you can tell because it's hurt sales so much and sales have dropped, have, have plummeted. So, uh, you know, really take the time to get out there, uh, uh, learn about um, America. This is a foreign company. Um, learn what, you know, what sells in America. Um, understand what the beer business is like and sell to those people um, in that way. All right, Billy Bush. Uh, it's sad, I hope. And by the way, you know who's benefiting? The uh, Molson Coors and Miller Lite. They're all benefiting. Coors Lite, Miller Lite, you know, their sales are through the roof uh, at Anheuser-Busch's expense. Appreciate you being with us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.